Hello traders, today's November 15th, Wednesday. I'm using two separate indicators on this chart. The first one being the blueprint, the second one being the trade scalper. And the reason why I'm combining these methods is to see if I have an opportunity where there's multiple long signals using unrelated software. Now, before we begin, remember that trading is risky. Please don't trade with funds. You cannot afford to lose. There are risks involved with trading. So as you can see, the market has just opened and we have a trade scalper signal. So that long at 45.24 is the trade scalper. And just prior to that, there was also a long on the blueprint. So it says there BP long 45.21.75. Because there are two separate methods indicating to go long, this is a great opportunity to enter long. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we place the trades to go long. Looking at the ATR, the average true range, two points would be my goal as far as a target as a, and a stop as well. I don't want to go too far away from the two, two and a quarter points as a stop. Now something you should be aware of, whenever you place trades right as the market opens, there could be a lot of volatility. So just be aware, if you see a lot of volatility, wait a little bit until things calm down. In this case, uh, the market's still or pretty much normal, hell. two and a quarter points, we're not overly crazy. Um, now if that happens to be, let's say, 10 points or 8 points, that's a concern, because that's some pretty big moves. And we're only using a one minute chart, so being that it's a one minute chart, the volatility isn't overly aggressive. Now, if you're trading pre-market, be careful it may be too slow, or if you're trading during a news event or an economic report like an FOMC, that's something you definitely have to be aware of that could impact what we're doing. Now, as long as you use some basic strategies to manage the trade, for example, how long are you gonna hold on to this trade? Are you deciding whether or not to Target trail filled. stop? Those things are all uh, very important. So let me add here the text and marker just to show you the very specific entry and exit. Now the trade scalper signal indicated to go long at 4524 uh, or there or within that area. So obviously I didn't get a very good fill on this trade as I was explaining uh, the video, but you do want to follow the signals as close as possible. 45, 24, 50, 45, 24 quarter, it's fine. We're within a tick or two of the specific entry. Even the previous signal, the blueprint long 45, 21, 75, I think that was a pretty good signal. Now let's take a look at what else the trade scalper has to offer for us. All right, I'm back. It's been about an hour and we have a lot of good signals here. So starting off with that first trade taken at about 9.30, right there was good. Then we have a short 45.21 quarter. I got the, the emails, that was a good short trade. We have three other long signals, as you can see right there in the middle of the chart at about 10.10, and now we just have a new long, double wick long 45.33 quarter. So this is uh, the latest signal live, I'm going to try to take this signal now to go long. I think it's a good opportunity. And or, let's or see what happens. Build. Okay, the one thing you should be uh, aware of is the ATR, the average true range, is only a point and a half. So what that means, let me just expand this out here so you can see a little bit better. What that means is that the target should only be about a point and a half. It should not be two points or five points. So we're trying to be relative to what the market could give us. And the same thing goes with the stop. We don't have, a, we don't want to have an overly large stop in case it gets stopped out. So right there is the ATR. Learn about it. I have uh, a lot of videos about the uh, ATR. It's a good way to know what the market could give us. So if the market could give us uh, 10 points, we'll take 10 points. If the market could only give us two points, we'll take two points. If the market could only give us three ticks, so think in terms of relativity. So there you go. There is the target. So remember, the entry is based on the Trade Scalper program, the Trade Scalper software, the strategy, the target, and the stop is based off the current condition. So we're dynamic as traders. We're not just using the same stop and the same target for um, everything that we do. Okay, so we're gonna be a little bit dynamic. So this is the trade scalper, really good 
so far today. If you have any questions, if you like these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, it's Black Friday. See if there's any discounts you can take advantage of. Save some money if you're interested in the Trade Scalper or Accelerated Mentorship. And also, if you haven't done so already, you could get a free member account at daytradetowin.com. We have some free indicators and some free videos to help you get started. Until next time, good trading. Let's get started. Click on the links in the description of this video. Take a look at how to trade price action at daytradetowin.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get notified. We have live streams all the time and webinars. And don't forget to check your emails for the next event. Until next time, good trading.